está muy escaso el agua, hay muchas sequías ahorita. Antes era muy diferente, antes llovía mucho, ahorita ya porque el lugar de los bosques están, pues están tumbando mucho los bosques, por eso están, y ya no quieren llover ahora. El año pasado pues no hubo nada de cosechas porque se secó, no llovía. This town where we're in is called Choguita. It's in the municipality of Huachochi in, in the state of Chihuahua. It's a town about a thousand homes and it's got uh, kindergarten, elementary school, secondary, uh, middle school, high school, uh, it's a health clinic. Then all these, all these uh, facilities and community centers do not have access to water. They have to ask for water's, water uh, to be trucked in it takes about five hours for the truck to get here. And you can think of all the emissions and, and the gas it uses to, to bring a, a tank of 10,000 liters. Uh, and then they don't come on time, they come a week late. So, um, and just accessibility to, to basic services such as water is a big problem. Um, it's very hard here to build a well and pump water and build a distribution network and get piped water to every house. It's almost impossible. Now, like the climate has been changing. It's not raining as, uh, as steadily and as frequently as it did before. So it's especially hard now to grow food. And so all of this creates an incredibly complicated scenario where water access and in general, just kind of survival have become more and more difficult. These are communities that are politically marginalized as so many indigenous communities are in the country and all over the world. They're geographically complicated. We're in the middle of the Sierra and it's just cliffs and canyons and mountains everywhere. And the convergence of all of these things make it extremely difficult to get water to these communities in any conventional manner at all. tank that the family is painting right now. This is a model of ferro cement, very simple steel and concrete structure that was developed in Africa by a group of people that were looking for the most, uh, the cheapest way to store water possible. It's the technique that's been used in most, in, in most communities, rural communities throughout the world. We've been uh, around for over 10 years uh, where we've installed over 20,000 rainwater harvesting systems. And we've, got a, we've developed a very uh, effective social process to make sure that we have the highest impact and as acceptation to our uh, technology and into introducing our technology. And we've got different models in different indigenous communities that, that we have developed throughout the 10 years. Here in, in the mountains, it's a very effective, simple system that is very robust. We're helping the local economy. 30, 40% of the cost of the system uh, goes to uh, local masons. And so we're helping uh, 
and create jobs and, and something beautiful that's been happening is that we we trained one master mason and he has trained three other masons uh, by himself without without us pues ahí anda echándose como de maestro pues tirándole como debe hacer echándole gana es más ayuda that's one of our dreams is that it can help self-replicate, really make it as, as sustainable as possible. It's all about knowledge sharing, no? Like we learn from these people in Africa, we come, we share it here, and the result is a community that has now the capacity to build incredibly uh, inexpensive and uh, very like appropriate and accessible water storage tanks that can give family a whole year of drinking water needs. Just you know, with water that falls from the sky. Cuando cuando está lloviendo, pues cae el agua de arriba del techo y ahí se filtra todo eso, se sale muy buena el agua. Aprovecha para el café y todo eso. And we're really excited. We've put up now 37 uh, of these calabash tanks. We've, we're putting up uh, this year another 10. This is the kind of community that we've been most focusing on trying to find ways to create kind of universal drinking water access through rainwater harvest. Perhaps the only water distribution model that can actually get drinking water to every single individual house without people having to walk long distances and carry the water back. Antes no había nada de esos apoyos. Me da mucho gusto ahorita porque ahorita sí hay ese apoyo. And another part of the work that we've been focusing on a lot here has to do with um, appropriation. No? So like painting tanks and introducing artwork. And the objective is to make these systems kind of permanently and deeply adopted by the families. No? Beloved by the families, desired by everyone in the community, to have their, their value and worth be fully recognized and eventually to have them just replicate without outside intervention and help. To have a community where everyone accepts that that's where their water comes from. It's really what our dream is, is really being able to, uh, to give these 10 million people uh, in Mexico and a clean access to water, offering a sustainable, de decentralized solution to the water crisis.